Hello and welcome to another episode of MVP playing FM21 in the year 2032. And before we get into any of this, we need to talk about real world events. England lost to Italy in the European Cup final on penalties. And now I've got to play an Italian side where most of those players play for. Just great. Uh, it is really hot at the moment, and I got this season's Villarreal training shirt, so that's why I'm wearing it, because it's new and it's very cool. So that's nice. Uh, yeah. Let's get into this. So, since you were last with me, we had four games where we didn't concede a goal, so... First of all, we had a 3-0 victory with the B team away at Bohemian. And, you know, three points to the Champions League. Very nice. Thank you very much. Goals from Pulisic, Serio, and Abrahams and penalty. Uh, followed that up with a 6-0 domination of Bologna. Um, two goals from Gonoto, two goals from Neto, and a little one from Rue. Rue with bags of assists, getting a 9.3. Very nice. 2-0 uh, victory against Pereska. Uh, dominated the game really goals from Bisgard and Ganoto and then a 3-0 victory against Sassuolo at home goals from Ferran Torres and Abrahams and early on and then Tonzik getting his first goal for the club from the penalty spot uh, a little bit of rotation with this Champions League game against Valencia in mind um, and this is a Valencia side that isn't as good as last season because they sold their best player I believe did they I thought they did nope no nope. ignore what I'm saying then he is still wanted that was it by PSG so uh, Sergio Pereira is still a Valencia player and as we saw last season he can score goals but as we also saw last season we can outscore them so getting into this it's not going to be an easy game and the team that is going out there today is going to be Yuli Haninet, a back four of Delati, Delict, and Lette, and Silva, a midfield three of Marco Antonio, Freeman, and Rue, and a front three of Neto, Gonoto, and Bisgard. Uh, Amari Freeman needs to pick up the pace now because I'm getting a little bit frustrated with him. We do have some injuries. Unfortunately, Ferran Torres is out. LUS is unregistered, as is Darko Jovic. Simon Maggi uh, is injured. Munoz coming back from injury. Pulic coming back from injury. And Tomzik is also unregistered. So, yeah. I mean, the bench is smaller. We don't have as much options. Uh, Zuza is definitely one that's raring to go. He's been playing very well. And he was actually quite difficult not to start in today. But I think Rue has proved himself over the last few games. So, if Amari Freeman doesn't have a good game... I don't know what we do, to be honest. There may be a time where uh, Delati has to come into midfield. And Claudio Mochin has to go at right back. But we'll see about that. I do think we should be winning this game, especially at home. I don't think there's any excuses to be had here. They're playing the classic 4-4-2. The very Spanish side of Valencia, you know playing that classic system that they always play. <laughs> Nothing happening in the first 15 minutes. We do have more possession and at least some shots on target on the board. Uh, Olympic Lyonnais beat Valencia in their last match. So really, if Valencia don't come away with anything today, they might not be uh, getting through this group stage. And uh, I guess... Leon are the, uh, the one to beat. Although, I'd expect to be beating them anyway. <laughs> Valencia with the ball here. Pedri, Thomas, plays it forward. Lete with the header away. Comes to Gonoto and the break is on. Finds Marco Antonio. Runs past his man. That number 15 shirt that he's inherited this season. Freeman to Bisgard. Bisgard takes a touch. Finds Neto. Goes down. Marco Antonio on the rebound. And sticks it in the top corner. And that's his first goal for the club. And it came at a pretty good time, to be honest. Uh, Marco Antonio is is an incredible player. I mean, I, I feel justified 
in the uh, Antonio switch, as we're going to uh, call it from now on. But, you know, he's just already twice the player that uh, our previous Antonio was. Neto picking up the ball from the corner. Cuts inside, finds Freeman. Good Noto with the header. I mean, was that a shot from Freeman? I don't know. But he's definitely going to claim that assist. And I guess Freeman's up in his game, if that counts. <laughs> I need to see the angle of this, because to me, it looks like a shot. Oh, no, I guess that was a cross. I mean, incredible play, really. And Gonoto with another goal for Juventus. He is a goal machine. Definitely the best signing of the save, for sure. Just because he's that good. And he's not, you know what, stats-wise, he's not even the best striker out there. There's a better one on the pitch in Pereira. He's definitely, stat-wise, a much better striker than Godotto. But clearly, Valencia, as a team, aren't as good as we are. And clearly... He's just not got the support that he needs. Rue standing over a free kick. And, I mean, that's a poor decision from Rue there. Christian Rock. What a surname that is. Valencia looking dangerous with Pedri down the right. Plays it back. Big ball over. I mean, Watson with the header is never going to be beating the goalkeeper from there. It shouldn't be anyway. Valencia playing out from the back again. Trying to get on the score sheet and maybe put some pressure on us. Thomas in the midfield. Plays it across to Watson on the left. They've definitely got some English sounding names. I know they've got a Scottish player in there. Big ball over. I thought Ganota was going to latch onto it. Neto with the interception. And yet again, we're pushing forward and quickly. Neto unchallenged the whole way. Cassio Neto. What a star. What an absolute star. Picks the ball up from his own interception in the midfield. From the halfway line. And just runs past four players on his way to the box. And just that that finish is sublime. If he doesn't get into the World Eleven this year. We're, we're doing him. An, 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 we are doing him an injustice. Because he's that good. That's good. So... Let's make some changes. I'm going to bring on Pena for Lete, as he's complacent and has a yellow card. Uh, Gilson and Silva isn't having the best game, but I guess we can bring on Mochi and switch sides with them. And then Bisgard's not having the best of games, so Zuza can come on for that. And we'll go like that. But 3-0 with uh, 20 minutes to go. And fully justified, we've been the much better side here. Uh, uh, Julian Rue stands over a free kick. It's the post. Close there. So close for Julian Rue. But we are looking good. I mean, I I just don't see us not winning everything this season. Unless we have some really bad, you know, injuries to some key players. I mean, if, if Ganoto gets a, a, a several month injury, that might uh, that might be a problem because, you know, even Neto, as good as he is, hasn't really played up front on his own. And then it's a question of who do we put on the left? Oof. I thought Valencia were going to get one back there, but they didn't. Good play from De Ligt, a good tackle, and then Juli Hein stayed calm and collected that ball. Neto trying to get another one. He's trying to do it again. And it took a great save from Christian Rock to stop him there. Wheel spin. <laughs> Zuzu with the corner here. It's cleared away to Pena. I mean, just blow the whistle, ref. We don't need to see much more of this, do we? I mean, I can't believe Claudio Mochin is, uh, is on the pitch in such an important game. But it's the way these things go. And uh, after not being able to register Darko Jovic... It's a problem. And that's the thing with Mochin. He is Italian. And that counts for a lot <laughs> at the moment. 3-0. A very, very convincing victory. Valencia never really posed a threat apart from that late effort. 
Goals from Neto Gonoto and Marco Antonio. He's first for the club. Man of the match going to Cassio Neto for that inspired finish. And we couldn't be happier. A very good result. Puts us on level points, but ahead on goal difference with Olympic Lyonnais. And there's just not a chance we, uh, uh, we're not qualifying from this group, group stage, are we? Lovely stuff. So, I didn't actually check what the next game was going to be. So, let's have a quick little gander at it. So, yeah, let's go for the uh, Champions League game against Lyon and see how we get on. So, we arrive at this game against Lyon, still unbeaten in the league. However, a nil-nil against Caglari really wasn't what we were hoping for. Dominated the game, but even with half our shots on target, couldn't find the net. Uh, we followed that up with a 4-0 demolition of Udinese. Goals from Gonoto, Pulic, who first of the season, and then two from Cassioneto as well. Uh, there's so many stories, like, literally every week about Chelsea coming in for Neto. And I just hope he doesn't get his head turned, because I, I can't let him leave. So, no matter what happens, Cassioneto is a Juventus player. And he's just going to have to accept that. He's a four and a half star player. He's 23 years old. He's Brazilian. And he's he's awesome. Why would I let him leave? No amount of money could literally persuade me to do that. Okay. No amount of money that Chelsea are going to pay is going to persuade me to do that. So, Cassio Neto is definitely a Juventus player through and through. So, yeah. Uh, because of that nil-nil, we actually aren't top of the league. We're behind Roma by two points. Um... Much better goal difference, and I'm pretty sure that Roma must have lost the game. No, they haven't. Still unbeaten for them as well. Only a draw against Sassuolo, blemishing their uh, record. We do face them soon, though, so uh, hoping to put Roma back in their place. Yeah? But that's not on the agenda. Today it is Leon, and the team going to into this game is going to be Yuli Heininet, a back row of Delati, Delict, Peña, and Munoz, who returns to fitness and the team. A midfield three of Marco Antonio, Freeman and Rue. And a front three of Neto, Gonoto and Bizgard. So, yeah. When I say fitness, I mean he's not fully fit. He got some minutes last time out. However, Gilson Silva picks up an injury, so can't play no matter what. So, Munoz is being thrown in at the deep end. That's all well and good. Uh, LUS obviously unregistered for this. Ferran Torres still isn't really fit. Uh, and Abrahamson is injured as well. So we have got a slightly weaker bench than we'd like. But it's still a decent one. Plenty of options. Miran is coming back to fitness as well. So he makes the bench. And yes, Munoz is tired. We know. <laughs> At the worst, we can swap Delati again. And uh, have him on the left. Could we? Yeah, Mochin is on the bench, so that is the plan of action if uh, Munoz either picks up a knock or isn't performing because he's uh, really out of fitness. But we're at home, and we need to be winning this game. I've just seen the Olympic Leonese striker, his name, Madriveski. Madriveski, what a name. Whoa, the instant highlight here from the restart. Uh, I can't believe Auer is still playing for Leon. That is crazy. But we build up from the back. Munoz plays the ball over to Bisgard. Gonoto's got some space. He f I thought he was going to find him there. He didn't. The Leon defense patching that one up. Neto chasing down Ruiz. Can't get him. Playing through the midfield here. It's caught to the left. Leon looking to make something of this. Awar again. Plays a big ball across for Ruiz. Luckily offside for us. Because that was a pretty golden opportunity there. Hein was in no man's land. And uh, Awar still has the ability to pick out a pass it seems. Bisgard, That beautiful ginger man running down the right hand side. Into Ru. It's come out to Freeman. Freeman who can do some magical things. Neto. Gonoto. Saw Munoz on the overlap and Kana brings him down. That's got to be a penalty. You can review the footage all you want, ref. But that's a penalty. And Gonoto's going to stick it in the bottom right-hand corner. I'm telling you now. 
But I mean, to be fair, Gunoto's not perfect from the penalty spot. So it's a possibility of a save here, but I feel like Gunoto's got this in the bag. Bottom right hand corner. He steps up and sticks it in the left hand side. <laughs> he scores, and that's the only important thing. 14 goals for the season already for Wilfred Gunoto. And puts us 1 0 up from the penalty spot after a good run into the box and being scythed down by the Leon defence. A interesting free kick here for Leon. And a good opportunity for them, to be honest. Our really is pulling the midfield strings. How old must he be? He must be at least 31 by this. 31, 32. Delati on the ball. Rue now. To Freeman. Freeman puts the ball across for Neto. We had so much time. So much time to see that come in. And uh, can only hit it against the crossbar. Unfortunate there. Freeman can recycle possession. Can he find a ball into the box? No, he can't. It goes up for another corner. And we're going to get to see it, apparently. Rue stands over it. Puts the ball across. It's cleared away by the Leon defence, who looked to counter. And that'll be that. Nope, Rue brings it back. We could catch them out here. Munoz on the ball. And, okay. <laughs> I guess not. Delati with a throw in straight to the Leon defence. That's not what we want to see. That can't be real life like Arsenal Pepe. I'm not having that. Delati plays the ball forward for Gnoto. It's cleared away. And Leon do look dangerous. They're making chances. And I don't like that. No, I don't like that at all. As it stands, we're top of the group with nine points. So, woohoo. You know, we win this game and we're very set for uh, qualification from the group. But Leon with only two shots on target. Oh, no, sorry. Only two shots not on target. We do look the, uh, the better side. So, let's keep that up. Ruiz taking a yellow card there. Peña playing it out to Munoz. Big ball through for Gnoto. He tries the near post, but the goalkeeper was there and alert to it. Throwing for Leon here. The yellow carded Ruiz playing to Dumont. Rue blocking the cross, but it gets through anyway. That was pretty dicey. Bizgar's not having a great game, is he? A 6.4. What's happening, mate? And Delati. That right-hand side isn't proving very useful at all. Madriveski. Cleared out to Pena. De Ligt now. The club captain, legend and icon who's been there for a decade. Gonoto with the shot. He's not troubling the goalkeeper with that one, is he? Let's make some substitutions. Bring on Pulich for Bizgard because he's having a rubbish game. Um... I think we swap Delati and bring on Mochin anyway. Because Munoz isn't fully fit. I know he's playing okay. But this gives Delati to have a go on the left as well. Other than that, I think we leave it there. I was going to bring on Zuza, but Rue's one of our better players. And he's having a great time. So let's not rock the boat too much. Rue standing over the ball for the corner. It's cleared away. Delati, one of the furthest players back, can pick it up. The ball over for Gnoto. Gnoto on the volley. I mean, that was that was beautiful. Our two Italians combining there, but the goalkeeper denying what would have been a magical goal there for uh, Wilfred Gnoto. Freeman is a big lad, isn't he? I know he's 6'3". Wow. What a shot that was from Rio. I wasn't even expecting that. The goalkeeper can only push it onto the post. Goes out for another corner. Neto with the header. We're just getting so close every time. So many opportunities. And we haven't been able to score from open play. Uh, I am going to bring... Oh, right. Okay, well, now we've got a choice. Because uh, Neto and Rio are tiring. So, I think... I want to bring on Zuza. Neto can be tired. That's okay. Playing out from the back now. Delict. 
to Pulich, to Zuza. Fresh Zuza has just come off the bench. Cuts it out to Mochin. Back to Zuza. Into the box. Gnoto over it. Neto! Casio Neto. What a, what a player. What a man. <laughs> that 23-year-old Brazilian kid is just the guy. I mean, Mochin and Zuza heavily involved there. And a lovely assist from Gnoto. Draws the defenders in. Turns his back on them. Finds Neto all alone. And all he's got to do is put it past the goalkeeper. And uh, he's pretty good at doing that these days. So I've seen anyway. Uh, I am going to drop some praise and drop back to balanced. And we'll roll with that, I feel, and see if we can see out this game. Delict with a lovely challenge there. Freeman over the ball. Goes for the long pass to Ganoto. Brings it down. He's got space to run. Can he get a goal? For Wide of the post, but we appreciate the effort from Wilfred Ganoto. And a lovely ball over there from Freeman. But I think uh, our dominance here just shows how good of a side we are. Because this is this was probably the hardest team in this group. And we've absolutely dismantled them here. Neto plays it to Zuza. Pulic to Gnoto. It's the post. Oh. Nearly three. Nearly three. But it doesn't matter how many goals we score. Even if it is quite fun. All that matters is the win. And uh, I can safely say that we have that here today. And we've had the performance to go with it. We've really limited them and their opportunities. We have plenty of our own. I know one of the goals came from a penalty. But even still, we would have uh, found our way through today. Unlike against Caglari. But yeah, end 2-0. We top the group at the moment in the Champions League. Nine points from three games. Perfect score. And uh, limited to Leon's only one shot on target today. Goals from Godota from the spot and Cassio Neto. The two main men coming up trumps. They are very good. And I couldn't imagine this Juventus side without them. And I'm actually kind of petrified of, of coming up against this team in the future. You know, if, I, if I'm at a different club, obviously we'll be looking at uh, looking at the Champions League as a as a... As a you know, a, a target. So if we ever come across this Juventus side, I think it might be curtains. So, like I said, it seems like everybody is trying to get Cassio Neto to head to Chelsea. And I'm hoping that uh, he's not interested. He does hold me in the highest regard as a manager, and I am on his favours personnel. So, I think we'll be good. I mean, what a player. Five appearances, six goals so far. So good. And these aren't small games. This is like big teams in the league, Champions League games. He's just so important and so good. So, for next time, I feel like... I want to show you Roma. Let's, sh let's, let's look at some big teams in, uh, in Italy. Because I think the Champions League group's pretty much done with. So I think we'll come back for Roma and then Inter. Are Inter a good side these days? I always seem to forget who's actually decent these side. I mean, they're up there. So, yeah, I think if we come back for those two games. And then we'll probably after that come back after the Champions League group. Because I think it's pretty set from here. I mean, we... we have we conceded a goal? We haven't conceded a goal yet. We're just that good. I've been MVP. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.